I just can't wait to get to the first game, see what happens. Coach, people in camp are already calling this one of the best defenses, defensive lines in the country. Do you see that watching them play? Well, we've got to play a game first. You know, they, that's kind of tough uh, to put that kind of accolade. That's really great they got to think that. But I think we're in a development stage. I think there's potential to have a really great front. To me, is to build a depth on top of what we have. You know, and Joey Bose is not as good as the guys behind him. So that second guy has got to be pretty good going into the game. So to me, that's that's the process going into the fall camp. Can we develop some depth behind back these guys up? And the players have said that you are going to rotate guys much more than Mike Rabel did. Can you talk about your philosophy and, and why that's so important you to have that kind of depth? I want to play fast. In a game of football, the defensive line is about playing fast. And a guy's got to play at his maximum speed all the time. It's tough for a guy to play 90 plays in college football and be at his maximum speed. So how about if he can play 65, play 75, play maximum speed? It's going to make us a better defense. So when you build some depth, a guy can go in and play 15, 20 play during the course of the game. It's going to make you better defensively. It also builds for the future. So you're not starting fresh every year with a guy who's never played in a game. I think that's real critical. How many guys right now are you comfortable saying, okay, these, these are guys that are <clears throat> Well, we're going to play, we actually want to play eight to nine guys. You know, we like to play eight to nine guys you feel can go in and contribute in the course of the game. You try to get ten ready, you know, five inside, five outside, and have a bonus guy who can play in, right or left, and have an inside guy who can play nose or shade. If you can get that going into the season, give you a pretty good depth. Somebody that goes down, knock on wood, doesn't happen. You got a guy ready to go. Yep. Coach, you talked about speed. Uh, what about four to six seconds? Motto? 46 seconds, A to B, that's what it's all about. It's a culture of Ohio State football. And, and that's the way we train. We train that way, we practice that way, and our end is that way. It's all built on playing as fast as we can. It goes offense, defense, too. Go right? offense, defense, doesn't stop. The entire, it goes into the secondary. Everybody's teaching it. Yep. Missing Noah Spence for the first two games, <coughs> do you prepare you know, as if he's going to be there until you get up to that first game week? Or do you kind of you know, have, to, have to adjust how you do it since you're going to not have him? Well, I think we prepare. We prepare going to the first game. We get some guys ready to play. We know the situation with Noel, uh, but we're not putting them on the side, not training. We're training them, I mean, just like anybody other players. And, and we'll have a game plan when he comes back, and until then we'll have some guys that we've got to get ready for Navy. Yep. What type of unique problems does Navy present with that type of offense? Well, it's triple option. You know, it's, it's offense you won't play, face the rest of the season. So you got to spend all your energy and time for one offense that you're not going to face. And you got to be very fundamentally sound, very disciplined to play offense. And, and they're about possession. They're going to hold the ball. They want to get possessions and keep you off, keep the offense off the field. So we've got to play good defense and be very disciplined in our assignments. Having them week one, is that the best time to have them since you've got the entire preseason? <laughs> I don't know, man. You, like a bye week, maybe. Give us some time to get ready for them. But it's a really a complicated offense, and, and they do it well. And they do it well. Seems like well, they're not very athletic. Well, they're athletic enough to run their system, and that's really important. So uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Of the non-starters, are there guys that have really taken a leap behind the offseason and start playing games? I think, I think, you know, guys like Donald Mark and Michael Hill, you know, this is Taekwon Lewis and Rashad Frazier, uh, and those guys are really, Steve Miller is just having a really great camp. So those are the kind of guys we're counting on, those guys being part of the rotation, doing a great job for us. So I'm, I'm really excited about where we are right now in the sense of going into the next week of practice. Have your players told you how much calmer you are than your uh, <laughs> I've heard stories, so I'll just leave it at that, yeah. <laughs>